Well, this morning we're kicking off our staycations in Arkansas week where we share some ideas for a fun vacation that doesn't require you to leave the state. Right? Well, the Arkansas River is one of our natural beauties and one Arkansas native is hoping to bring more attention to it. There you go. It's a natural treasure right in Arkansas's backyard. You better stay with me, I might float away. That's, I'll catch up with you, no worries. <laughs> but for some, the Arkansas River is a treasure still waiting to be discovered. I just think people have been scared of the Arkansas River, and we really want to show that the Arkansas River is not something to fear, but something that needs to be respected. Right side, left side, right side, left side. It's a fear Arkansas native Samuel Ellis knows well. If it's anything like me growing up, uh, my mom told me that the Arkansas River is scary and you're going to, you know, it's going to hurt you if you even look at it wrong. But one he's hoping to help others overcome. There you go. Look at those paddle strokes. Look at my arms, they're so buff. His latest venture, Rocktown <laughs> River Outfitters, a first of its kind business in North Little Rock, offering kayaking tours along the river. We will be running uh, a two and a half mile tour from Rockwater Marina um, to downtown, just uh, south of the North Little Rock boat ramp. Giving you a glimpse of what the natural state has to offer from a different perspective. So what bridge did you say this was? This is the Baron Cross Bridge. Baron Cross Bridge? And it's actually still a functional uh, train and raising bridge. We do evening tours where you'll see the sun go down and the bridges light up at night. Um, and uh, you'll also get to see the Clinton Library. There's just a lot of stuff that's focused on the river, but you never see it from this, this point of view. His goal, to share the natural beauty of the river, Arkansas's treasure just a paddle away. I see just the river community really growing. I can see more riverside um, restaurants and views of the river now that people want to come out and play on it. Oh, I had a lot of fun playing on that mm -hmm. river. You can have fun too. They're going to be offering tours on evenings and weekends. It's about a two and a half hour, a two and a half mile long tour. So it's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. Um, and especially if you've never done anything like that before, as I had yeah. not, yeah. Um, I felt very safe, very comfortable. And that's a big thing. I know safety, a lot of people think of the river as being dangerous. But when you're on a guided tour like that with someone who knows what they're doing, uh, you forget all about it and you just have fun and relax. How active do you have to be in order to be able to do this? Do you have to be physically in good shape? I'm not very active, I'll tell you that. <laughs> a lot of people think I am, but no, I mean, you, you get tired, you do, mm -hmm. but you're just going along with the flow of the river right. and, and you're seeing where you live maybe your whole life from just a different point of view, which I think is so neat. It's important, yeah. Very neat. And I know you could still go out and do it yourself, but I think going mm -hmm. on a guided tour, um, just to let you experience something a little bit different. You miss stuff when you're not with the guide who exactly. knows the places. Yeah. Exactly, exactly.